Most of the ant colonies are in hibernation, so let's go take a quick look and see how they're doing. So five of my colonies are in hibernation on a plastic plate cover inside my wine fridge at 54 degrees Fahrenheit, and the colonies that are in test tubes are separated by rubber stoppers to ensure that they would not roll, since they have a tendency to roll whenever I open the wine fridge. So starting with the star ant colony on this channel, Malasius niger colony, is the colony that I have to regularly refill their water supply on a daily basis, and this is because so that they would not dehydrate since they have not entered full hibernation. The only time the workers do go to the foraging area is to get water. Into the core of the colony, many workers are seen huddled together, and it seems like the light might have bothered them too much, so I won't have them out too long. I feel like I spotted the queen's gaster, but workers may be on top of her, which is why I can't get a proper shot. On the other hand, they seem to be doing well. On to some bad news. One of my Fadoli Xerophila queens has sadly passed away. And I initially put this queen into hibernation because she did not lay any eggs, but had a tiny bit of mold on her thorax. And it seems like the mold spread while I thought she was in hibernation. The other queen, however, moved to the other end of the test tube. And I feel like she too is dead, but I plan on moving her into a different test tube, just in case, you know, the mold spreads to her. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section down below, and I'll greatly appreciate it as always. Next in line is my dorm room's bicolor queen, who I know is in full hibernation. A sign that she is in full hibernation is that she is in the fetal position, where her legs are bent to the middle of her body. A second is that she is hanging onto the cotton, and a third is because when I put her into hibernation, I checked on her every day to make sure that she was doing fine. And since she did not take off her wings, but has survived to hibernation, I have high hopes that she will lay eggs in spring. Next we have my Campanatus Festinatus Queen, and she hasn't entered full hibernation, but is definitely slower than she was before I moved her into the fridge. She's also the only queen that I caught in September that has removed her wings, and I've read somewhere that some queens will start laying eggs after hibernation, and because she's a carpenter ant queen, she might have her first batch in spring, so I can't wait to start updating you guys on this hopefully new colony. And lastly, we have my Chromatogaster Levia Scula Queen. Although she still has her wings, she's laid a number of eggs, all of which have been unfortunately eaten, and this is mostly because of stress. I also moved her into a different test tube because the current one she was in had mold, and I was afraid it could harm her if it were to spread. Overall, I've learned a lot about this queen, and when spring arrives, I plan on not disturbing her for one to two months. So let's see how that goes. But that will be all for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this far. I'd also like to thank you for the overwhelming support this past year. Let's make 2018 a year to remember an ant keeping history. My name is Ender Ants, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'll see you in the next upcoming video.